Hey folks, I'm Nicole Gilbert and this is the Nicole Gilbert Quilts YouTube channel. This is an exciting episode guys. As you can see, the eagle has landed. The much anticipated, waited for, Baby Lock Allegro has landed in the Nicole Gilbert Quilts studio. And so today we are unboxing all of the goodies for you. All right, folks, let's dive in. Okay, I'm here and it is time to unbox this beautiful machine. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the Allegro, it is Baby Lock's newest entrant on their quilting line of machines. And it is an amazing upper mid-level machine. It has 12 inches of creative space to the right of the needle. That's like the big one. That's the like, whoa, bam. And some of you may kind of think back and think, oh, like the Jazz. It is made on the Jazz and Jazz 2 platform, meaning the overall shape of the machine is the same, but that's pretty much where the comparisons end. Uh, the Jazz is a manual machine. Uh, the Allegro is computerized. And that is going to make a big, big difference. Okay, so I've opened the box and of course the only thing I see is cardboard. Okay, so I'm going to kind of from this angle because you can like barely see me, um, I will be opening things up but I'll probably move the box down onto the floor and start pulling things up out of the box at some point uh, just because you're not going to be able to really see the stuff because it's just all box right now. This is a relatively big box. Let me look. I do have things are here. So let's see. So 33, 19. So it is about 12 inches deep and a good 36 inches long this box. So it's not a petite box. Um, is it as big as like my chorus box was? No, but it's a sizable box. It's way bigger than like the accomplished box was. Okay. So first and foremost, we have a beautiful dust jacket. So we have a baby lock branded dust jacket. Instruction and reference guide. You guys, if you know me, you know, and let's see if I can get this down. I'm obsessed with instruction guides, okay? Obsessed. I think besides your local quilt shop and your favorite baby lock educator, your instruction guide is your best resource for your book, uh, for your sewing machine. I keep mine for all of my machines readily accessible because I reference them a lot. And if you're not in the habit of doing that, please do because it will help you so much uh, in your sewing journey. So I'm gonna go put that down there. And at this point, I'm just gonna move the box out of the way because this is driving me bananas. And she's not a light box. Again, not as heavy as the chorus box was, but she's not light. Okay. So next up that I see, and this is actually right in the top of the styrofoam, is the knee lift. And this is a great knee lift, guys. So I don't know if you can see, let me hold, just hold it up in front of my shirt because my shirt is nice and blue. Um, it is a beautiful, polished, uh, heavy duty, white, I can't tell if it's metal or plastic, but it's, there's, you can feel the quality of it. It's not too thin where you feel like kind of it won't feel nice against your leg, but it's also not so heavy that it's gonna get in your way while you're sewing. This is a great knee lift. I'm, I like the angle of it as well. 
it's not kind of straight down. A lot of times knee lifts will be like straight down and then they're like this pole in your way. But this one, because you can see this is where it's going to insert into the front of the machine. This one is at a nice little angle. I'm impressed. I like this. I am... Um, I want to see how this works, honestly, because I've got quite a few knee lifts. I've got a knee lift for my chorus. I've got a knee lift for my accomplish. I want to compare it because it is it is different. It's a different lift than um, on, on previous machines. So I'm excited about that. Okay, so now it's just like big old piece of styrofoam. So let's see, can I lift anything out? So the whole thing needs to get lit out. And we'll see how this works for me. Okay, box. So this is very interesting. This is, it's a heavy machine, not gonna lie. It's not like it's like a super light, you know, machine. But that was way lighter than I thought it was going to be, which I'm intrigued by. Uh, this makes this machine kind of ideal for multiple types of sewers out there. With the size of its creative space, it is for sure going to be a very intriguing machine for those of you who are interested in like what I call quote unquote a big girl machine. You know, it's got the knee lift, the programmable needles. It has lots of decorative stitches. You can do a lot with it. You've got plenty of creative space so that you can quilt your quilts at home. You're looking to upgrade. This is a great machine for that. It's a little bit pricier than um, you know, your genuine collection machines. However, um, it's not the gulp or price tag shock of, you know, something like a chorus, which totally worth it, but you know, different type of, of fire. What I find interesting though, is that it's light. And the reason why that I find that, The reason why I find that so intriguing is that because she's so light, I would use this as a travel machine. Because I, so something that I use my accomplish for my travel machine right now and she's heavy, but I don't care because she's powerful and she's going to get the job done. Something that's different is that my Accomplish, which all straight stitch machines are like this, they're manual. So I have to manually do all the things, raise and lower the needle. I mean, you can hit the buttons on the Accomplish and it'll do it, but it's not as programmable as my chorus is, which is like my daily driver. I love it. I'm spoiled and that's great. With the Allegro, it doesn't have all of the bells and whistles that my chorus does, but it's got a lot more programming in it so that it would be comfortable to take on retreats and traveling. And I am just, my mind is blown right now. So that's what I'm saying. This could fall into two different categories for sewers. Those of you who are looking to upgrade from some of your smaller box store or your genuine collection machines and you want to upgrade to some some really great features, the Allegro's got it. For those of you who are already used to all of those great features and they want to stay comfortable while traveling, this one's got it because it's light. And that's the whole reason why you don't bring the big mamma jamma is because it's just a big mamma jamma. Oh gosh, okay, so now that I've just talked everybody's brains off, let's start removing this guy. So let's see, what do we got here in the package? We have our foot control, and it's a standard foot control. Um, really nothing different about it. Uh, this is one of those, if you've seen one foot controls, you've seen them all. 
Uh, but I do enjoy that it does have texture. I don't know if you can hear my nails on it. There's some texture here, which is great because that'll just help with the non-slip of it um, with your with your foot. Uh, there's also some uh, pads here that will also assist with uh, the grip of the pedal so the pedal doesn't run away from you um, as easily as some other pedals might. We have a power cord, which is, you know, a power cord. Let's see what else we've got in here. So I'm gonna be tilting this box so that I can pull this out. Otherwise, I'm just not sure how this works. I mean, this thing is packaged good. Okay, now we're cooking with this. Little bits of styrofoam coming out of everywhere. You guys, she's beautiful. This is a beautiful machine. This is a beautiful machine. So let's discuss, and I'm gonna turn her around. Do you see how I just picked this up? I used the handle, but I still am supporting. And I am actually going to move my lighting so that you can see it a little bit better. She's kind of getting blown out a little. There you go. So the video might have gotten a little darker, but you should be able to see the, the machine a little better. There we go. Okay. So this is what she looks like coming out of the box. And I will say at 12 inches, she has a little bit more creative space than my chorus does, which is really impressive because my chorus is not a petite machine. But let's break down kind of what we're, what we're seeing here. And this is the unboxing. So in this video, I'm pretty much just going through what's coming in the box. But you see all these beautiful little blue stickers here? That shows me that there's stuff. Yep, okay. So what I love is this has a great huge flatbed on it. This flatbed is about, let's see, 24 to three. It's about nine-ish inches from front to back which is really nice. It kind of is like its own extension table almost. It's, it's really beautiful. It also, and this is like a game changer with baby lock machines. I love so much. Baby lock has quilting machines, but their quilting machines still become free arms. Okay, that's huge. Um, I have sewn on other machines in the past and their quilting lineups are just fat bottom machines. They don't become free arms, which is fine. 90% of the time, quilters don't need a free arm, but every once in a while, your spouse is gonna come into your quilting studio and ask you to hem something, and it's a bummer. This saves the day. So here goes that wonderful uh, attachment that takes you from free arm to fat bottom machine. Also, when I removed that, I saw the feed dog up and feed dog down switch. So in order to access that, you will have to remove this. So keep that in mind uh, for those of you who are getting one of these machines and um, are maybe having a custom table built. Like my husband always builds me my custom tables for my machines. It's one of my favorite things. They're absolutely beautiful tables. He does a wonderful job. He insets the machines into them. That being said, this is not a machine I would do that with because I need to access those feed dogs. Now, I will be reading the guide to see if there's something programmable where it would automatically drop for free motion quilting. So that might be a thing as well. 
but let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. So if I open here, I love all the goodies packages. They're so fun. Let's see. We have a buttonhole foot. We have a straight stitch needle plate. What else do we come with? Oh, so good. We have spool caps, which this is fun. This is a little different than the usual. We have some bobbins. We have needles. Here's a pack of five needles. Lint brush. Okay, hello. The engineering. Sometimes you're like, I didn't know I needed that. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I needed that. So I was just looking, I was like, oh, this, there goes the lint brush. That's a little different. It's, I don't know if you can see it. Try to, I don't know if you can see it, but it has that look of a, of a, uh, those little seam rippers that machines come with. And I was like, oh, maybe it's like a cap or something. Pull it out. It's a seam ripper. So it's a two in one little guy, which I'm here for. This would be great. You know what, this might go directly into, I have a um, bag that I put all of my travel notions in. This is great. It's my lint brush, it's my seam ripper. One tool, love that. Quilting guide bar, this is great. This is so that when you are quilting on this machine and you're doing some sort of straight line or echo quilting, you can use this guide bar in your previous stitch and you can measure out and you'll keep um you'll be able to maintain a nice consistent distance between your stitches. This is one of those uh, things that on a lot of machines that it is an addition on and it's really nice to see that it comes with this machine. Okay, if you guys have watched any of my previous unboxing videos, you know I love a baby screwdriver. And this comes with two different baby screwdrivers, which means that there's probably two different sizes of screws on this machine. So that's good to know. This is a uh, thread pin. So we will see uh, how that's constructed here in a minute. Another spool cap. Some more bobbins. And let's see, I haven't looked because, I mean, you guys, I'm seeing this with you guys right now, so I haven't looked in the manual yet to see what size bobbins these are. Um, but they look like they're probably the same as the rest of the baby lock line. And let's see, lots of feet, lots of feet. Also, another little screwdriver. What's great about these short little, these little metal screwdrivers is that um, you'll notice that it's some of these screws that you have to put it, take in and out, um, the regular miniature screwdrivers with the plastic handles on them uh, will be too tall and you'll kind of be going at it at an angle. With these little guys, it will fit in, yep, that's gonna be for that one. And you have plenty of room for your hands to be in there while moving the screws. It's one of those little things that Baby Lock does that I absolutely adore. Um, it just makes your life a lot easier. So I'm actually going to, there's this little baggie with these two screwdrivers. I'm gonna put that guy in there with it so that that way it doesn't get lost. And then, ugh, we've got such great feet. Nice, ugh. So we've, Let's see, we've got the one on the machine. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight feet that come with this. So, I mean, you're gonna be pretty well represented. Not only do you have eight feet that come with it, quarter inch foot included. That's like a gimme, you're gonna have to get that comes with it. Stitch in the ditch foot comes with it. 
you guys. Alternative quarter inch foot comes with it. I just, I mean, there's just, you just can't, there's just, it's just too good, guys. Um, zipper feet come with it. Open toes come with it. Clear feet come with it. Free motion with the clear halo so that you can actually see where your stitches are going comes with it. Hello. I mean, I know that I'm like, but this is exciting. I love when a machine out of the box comes with everything that you're going to need to really be successful. Um, it shows a level of understanding of their uh, consumers and it really is just nice. There's nothing worse than investing in a quality machine and then realizing that you're gonna have to go out and spend more money on more accessories. So that's what was in the front of that uh, free arm full body box. Now this looks like it comes out as well. It does. There's nothing currently um, in there, in the, the rear portion of the uh, free arm case, but it is another nice big storage section. What I love about it is everything fit in the front that you need to sew, like parts of the machine. Back here, additional tools, thread. That can all fit back here, meaning you can kind of have this machine be your one-stop shop, which is pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and remove this plastic. And now there's a this cute little there's like a little tab right here Whoop. that you can pull up all right so this is great one i adore and this is just me so take this with a grain of salt i love a clean looking top now i usually have the gold lid on my chorus but when I get big spools of thread, I take that lid off so that I can put the big thread stand on the back. But I love a clean, smooth lid. Really, I just like clean lines. That's my thing. That's who I am. Um, so I do love that I can close this and I could have thread on here because it is a horizontal pin that's right here. There's a horizontal pin here, meaning I could put my thread on, thread my machine, close it, and everything's there. Love that, like really love that, because I just like a good looking machine. And this, this is a good looking machine. Okay, now, it's got a full guide of all of your stitches, because here, this is a uh, LCD screen, and you can choose uh, through all of your stitches. And it's kind of that standard, like plus or minus, plus or minus. This is gonna change you from the different uh, letters, I'm assuming, and this is gonna change you through the numbers so that you can get to the uh, exact stitch that you want. Actually, it doesn't look like this one has letters. It looks like it's three digit numbers. So I'm sure that that's what this is gonna switch through for you. Uh, it looks like there's also a selection button. And then you could do a lot of things here. There's buttonholes, there's reinforcements, there's thread stitches, twin needles, mirroring. You can mirror your stitch in this, guys. So this might, at first glance, you might be like, oh, this is like one of those basic computerized machines. You're able to do some of the functions that these super high-end machines are doing on this machine that's, I mean, not even $1,500. That's, that's great. You don't get these kind of functionality in a, in a machine of, of this price point. You don't get this kind of quality. This is good. This is good, guys. Okay. 
So let's see, you can program needle down. You can mirror your stitches. You can go to your decorative stitches. You can do buttonholes, reinforcements, thread snips. I've mentioned all that. I can't even wait to actually power this thing on. Um, I will be doing a like quick start video so that you can see about like setting items in here and, and how it works. Um, but this is good y'all. Okay, so let's see. We've got our bobbin winder and it's pretty standard. You put your bobbin on, you switch that over to the side, it winds, it'll stop. We're good to go there. I do like, there's a little tray here, which is kind of awesome. Some of you will sew with this lid up. Um, I'm trying to tilt this a little so you can see all of the printing that's up here. There's a lot of information up here for you. So some of you may sew with this lid up. In that case, it might be more convenient for you to le you leave like, I am consistently switching between my J or N foot and my quarter inch foot um, back and forth, you know, as I'm sewing half square triangles and then I'm sewing traditional patchwork. I'm flipping back and forth between those feet a lot. So I could keep the other foot in this little tray. It's not gonna go anywhere. It's deep enough that um, it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna flip out on me, but it's also got a nice entrance point where I could lift things out of pretty quickly. Very small feature, genius, love it. Okay. Let's see, it's like a traditional, I mean, Pretty much, if you're a sewer, you know, pretty much every machine does show its pathway. Uh, it's, this has the uh, thread pathway for both the um, bobbin winder as well as threading your machine. You're gonna come up around. I will say some of the pieces here look a little different. Not gonna lie, they look a little different. So I would say it's probably the fact that these pieces are exposed where in a machine like the Chorus, they've got like a housing around it. I'm sure this little guy here is underneath this flap right here kind of a deal, uh, but you can see it, which is actually kind of cool. Um, from my like nerdy, I love sewing machines mind, that's kind of cool that I can see it. So I like that. Okay, and then we're following our path. We're doing the traditional take up lever. Now, this has uh, the advanced needle threader, which is a little different than the Never Miss. Um, so if you use a, a Never Miss, it's uh, just, just a little different. This is a great needle threader. This advanced needle threader is great. Um, and so let's see. So we'll go follow, and then it's just got this nice, smooth little lever here for our needle threader. Got a button to release the feet in the back. We've got the uh, presser foot up, presser foot down. We got a thread snip here built in on the side. Got, hmm. I'm gonna look into that because there are, it's almost like a hybrid machine. I'm seeing dials for um, tensioning and adjustment. Again, I haven't even read this manual yet, so I'm not a thousand percent sure. Once I dive into the manual, I will do that quick start video, and then we'll really talk about what all of these different dials are for. Um, we've got our needle up, needle down, reinforcement stitch, uh, back stitch, thread snips, our speed, which can we just discuss the fact that the, net, the new symbols you will notice on the Allegro, and I think the other machines that came out this summer, um, the Bloom and, and whatnot, the Solaris Vision, um, there's some new icons, which is interesting because we have kind of had the exact same representational icons for ever, and they're pretty consistent across all brands. And these still look the same as far as like, the symbol itself is the same. It's like the font is different, which is just, so like the shape of the scissors for the thread snips, it's still a pair of scissors. You know that that's the thread snips. It's just a different type of scissor, which is just cute. Um, 
So I'm getting a kick out of that. The speed dial, which I'm trying to see. Uh, yeah, so this one, so this is the only one that I would say is like a departure from what the previous symbols are, but it's pretty straightforward as to what it is. Uh, the old one was like the single play button, double and then triple for, you know, slow to fast. This one is a tortoise to a hare. Is that not just the most darling thing you've ever seen? Uh, sometimes I'm just like mind blown with how cute this stuff is. So, um, yeah. So the, it, it's just adorable. Now around this side of the, the machine, we've got our, um, our plug for our foot control. We have our power and we have our on off switch. We've also got a vent, so we want to make sure we keep that nice and free. We've got a flywheel. This flywheel is a little bit smaller, um, which I'm, I don't know why, but I like it. I don't know. This will be really good for those of you with smaller hands. I am not a petite person, I'm, and I've got pretty big hands, and this doesn't feel too small for me, so I think it's just fine. Um, and then we have down here, kind of at this point, is where our knee lift insert is. So there you have it. I'm actually going to go ahead and raise that so I can see. It also comes with a bobbin loaded into the um, drop-in bobbin. Uh, it's got a nice little door. Wow. I like that. So it's got a little um, black um, pull tab that you pull and the door just came flying out. Also, nice, and I can see that from here with the needle plate still on, nice big open space around the bobbin case, which is gonna be great for cleaning this guy out. I have to say, I am genuinely impressed uh, with a lot of this. So I actually, um, I'm here for it, I like it. So there you have it guys. This has been the unboxing of the Baby Lock Allegro. I cannot overstate how excited I am to use this machine. Um, there is some things I have to look into, which I'm excited about. I love learning about new sewing machines. I need to learn more about these dials. So we'll be talking about that in the future. I want to know if I pick specific stitches, if my needle, my feed dogs will drop on their own. I'm not sure if they do or not. That will kind of determine how I put this on a uh, table. That being said, this um, case that transfers transforms it from a free arm to a full flatbed is a delightful size. Like, I mean, it's so corny for me to say that. It's delightful. It actually extends like three or four inches past the main body. And do you see that? It extends past. It's giving you a nice work surface. And also, this is where your hand's gonna be. Um, something that has kind of always bugged me, and by bugged me, I mean not that big of a deal, but like if we're having first world problems. We're having first world problems. Um, I sometimes will notice that um, I my hand that's guiding to the left of my needle, like I'm demonstrating on my course here, if I'm guiding to the left of the needle, this hand sometimes will get stuck on things. Um, and by having this super glossy, super shiny, beautiful, smooth flat bed, that hand's not going to get stuck on anything because it's going to be sliding along this part. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm just like, I'm geeking out over here. This is a great machine. This is the Baby Lock Allegro. I would love to hear in the comments whether or not you are planning on adding this to your arsenal at home. And if you have any other questions, please just drop them in the comments. I'm happy to help in any way that I can. Uh, all right, folks. Bye for now.